And Rob, according to the family of 30-year-old Angelo Quinto, the Navy veteran was suffering from paranoia the night they called police for help. The deadly outcome has the family demanding answers and filing a wrongful death lawsuit. Angelo, is he on any medication? I not that I know of. Come on, come on, can you take him, please? Please, please. The mother of Angelo Quinto didn't begin recording the police response to her home in Antioch, east of San Francisco, until after her son was already unconscious. The 30 year old was going through a mental health episode, so the family called for help on the night of December 23rd. Does he have a pulse? What is what's happening? The real question here is why did the police act in the manner in which they did? He, he was not being aggressive. Uh, he wasn't resistive. They really kind of physically snatched him, and he was not resisting in any way. Kinto never regained consciousness after transport to a hospital, and he died three days later. His mother and sister recently met with the media to talk about what they say they witnessed that night. The violence and the brutality that we saw did not come in the form of guns or blatant beating. It was... It was... Um, sorry. It came in the form of excessive restraint and a dangerous tactic. Though it's been two months, the family is still awaiting official autopsy results, along with findings of an independent autopsy. They are convinced Kinto died of asphyxiation at the hands of police. When I snatch him, he's taken him to the floor. Angelo said, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. They take him to the floor. And when they take him to the floor, one officer takes his feet and pushes them up behind his back. Another officer gets on the back of his neck, a la George Floyd, with his knee and pressing down. According to relatives, an officer knelt on Kinto's neck for nearly five minutes. They began recording this video after realizing something may be wrong. Kinto had served briefly in the Navy and was honorably discharged in 2019 because of an allergy. But the family says he had always grappled with depression and more recently anxiety and paranoia. They are seeking change in how police respond to such situations. We want to question the, the police hold that they used and hopefully get it banned here. We'd like to have outlawed, uh, done away with the sort of George Floyd use of your foot and knee on the back of a person's neck. There must be other ways to handle a person than to uh, cut off their windpipe and cut off their breathing apparatus. The Antioch Police Department has not yet responded to a request for comment, but a spokesman told a publication last week that their investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live from L.A. County, Nancy Liu, News Nation.